Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by again. And uh, today I just wanted to go over some data that I've gathered uh, about the three different types of Down syndrome, which is mosaic, translocation, and trisomy 21, which is what Ashton has and the most common one. Um, Down syndrome is caused when one's genetic code has an extra copy of chromosome 21. Since chromosomes normally come in pairs, this is often referred to as trisomy 21. Um, I wondered when Ashton was born, uh, when I had my surprise uh, diagnosis, wow, did I do something during my pregnancy to cause this? Did I, I was thinking back of things that could have been a problem. Like I know I took Excedrin a couple of times when I think I wasn't really supposed to when you're pregnant. Um, I probably drank, drank coffee a couple of times, which they say you're not supposed to when you're pregnant. So I was thinking things along these lines is what caused this uh, abnormality. And it is actually not. It's not what happens during your pregnancy because the Down syndrome, uh, the chromosomal abnormality happens at conception. So when the egg and the sperm meet, that is when um, it takes place. And they don't really know why. Uh, I think there is 1% of Down syndrome that can be hereditary. The parents can be carriers. I don't know a lot about that. Maybe I'll do some research and do another video. But it is not something that happens during your pregnancy. It's, it's what happens. It happens at conception. So let's move into the video and see some of these cuties that um, I have in the video for y'all. Okay, so here are the three types of Down syndrome. The first one is trisomy 21, which is the most common one. 95% of the cases are trisomy 21. And this is basically where the body has three copies of chromosome 21 instead of two. Uh, the second is translocation Down syndrome. This makes up about 4% of the cases of Down syndrome. In this type, each cell has part of an extra chromosome 21 or an entirely extra one, but it is attached to another chromosome instead of being on its own. The third is mosaic Down syndrome, which makes up only 1% of cases. This is the rarest type where only some cells have an extra chromosome 21. Here is a fact for you. You can't tell what type of Down syndrome someone has just by how they look. The effects of all three types are very similar, but someone with mosaic Down syndrome may not have as many of the attributes because fewer of the cells have the extra chromosome. But you can tell from the cute and adorable pictures below that they all look really similar and share a lot of the same attributes. Here are some of the common physical attributes of uh, trisomy 21. They usually have a little bit flatter of a face, um, more so the, the bridge of their nose. They have gorgeous almond-shaped eyes that slant up a little bit sometimes. Uh, you can usually tell uh, their necks are a little bit shorter. They have uh, sometimes smaller ears. I know when Ashton was born, her ears were cupped over a little bit. Um, we had that corrected with these simple little braces that we put on them. And um, I can talk more about that in another video. Uh, sometimes they have larger tongues, which sometimes you'll see they have their tongues out of their mouth. Uh, sometimes Ashton never really had that issue. So again, things are different for every kiddo. Uh, they tend to be shorter generally in stature. They're smaller, uh, kind of small hands, small feet. Um, but all of those things along with uh, gorgeous smiles and um, gorgeous hair and oh the eyebrows our kiddos seem to have these very pronounced like perfectly shaped eyebrows they are so cute for those of you that are listening along and not reading uh, i just going to read this quote so this quote is from vienna's mom uh, vienna has a translocation down syndrome and she said quote we were told a week after birth, our daughter Vienna had translocation Down syndrome. I had no idea what that meant. I thought it meant her having Down syndrome was mild, laugh out loud. I know now there's no such thing. Translocation for us meant that the extra chromosome wasn't all three chromosomes in a line. Her extra chromosome attached itself on top of one of the chromosomes so her blood work looked normal. It did not show up as a third chromosome on the 21st chromosome. When they showed us her labs, the 21st chromosome was extra long 
and that's where it was hiding. So no one picked it out. So when we got his official, like chromosomal type, whatever, um, carrier type, um, it was like a couple weeks after he had been, you know, diagnosed in the hospital. Um, I got a phone call, said it was Robertsonian translocation. All that meant was that um, that extra little chromosome was attached to chromosome 14. Usually it's like chromosome 14 and then I think either 15 or it could just be attached back onto 21. Um, when we went to the Down syndrome clinic, I asked them, I said, so does this mean anything for his development? Does this mean that he's going to be, you know, maybe more higher functioning, lower functioning? Um, you know, does it have any impact on the way that he, you know, will look like any of the physical characteristics? And he just kept saying, he just, he just has Down syndrome. Like it just, it's, it's just like all the other Down syndrome types. Um, it's an extra, it's an extra piece of chromosome 21. Um, so he was, he didn't really come out and say like, no, he's not going to be, you know, he's not going to be really any different than any other kids with Down syndrome. Um, he was just like, it, it, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So he didn't really, he didn't really give me answers that I was looking for. Um, there is a Down syndrome. We don't really know. There's not a whole lot of research out there that, you know, talks about what the implications are of having translocation is prominent. Um, but as far as Benjamin's concerned, he, um, he looks like every other kid with Down syndrome and, you know, he's more higher functioning than some kids and lower functioning than others. And, um, so I don't know that translocation really means anything like for what we need to know as far as like his growth and development. I don't think it has any impact on how we raise him and how he learns and stuff like that. But if you didn't get to watch the show Born This Way, which was on A&E back in 2016, you have to find it and watch it. It was a series, a documentary on, I think it was five or six adults with Down syndrome that they followed. And uh, one of them specifically, uh, his name was Stephen. He had mosaic Down syndrome. And I always remember when I was watching the show, he definitely seemed the most high functioning of the group. Um, his dad described him as very high functioning. So this is just a, an example of, of one, uh, I guess, public figure with mosaic Down syndrome that um, I was just going to point out.